This is the South China Tiger. Today, in all the world, there are less than a hundred of these magnificent animals left. Their story is all too familiar. In modern times, mankind has hunted the South China Tiger almost to extinction, driving it out of its natural habitats. By the year 2000, it looked like curtains for the most charismatic big cat. It was widely suggested that come 2010, the Chinese year of the tiger, the South China tiger would be history. But that was before the decisive intervention of Save China's Tigers, the proactive, charitable foundation the team undertook an exhaustive field trip through China to establish the true facts about the country's most iconic animal. The team was devastated by the China tiger's dire plight. Something bold, something extraordinary needed to be done, and done quickly. The team persuaded the Chinese authorities to allow to take some of the few remaining South China tigers from Chinese zoos to be rewilded in South Africa as a first step to rehoming them in China. There was no shortage either of land or game, and the country had an unrivaled tradition of wildlife management. The plan was to recreate a natural but secure environment where the translocated zoo-born tigers could reacquire the survival skills practiced by their ancestors. Only by once again becoming a fearless predator could the South China tiger live and prosper. Here at the Laohu Valley Reserve in central South Africa, Save China's Tigers began its ambitious work. As the tigers were rewilded, they learned how to hunt and fend for themselves, and so began breeding. A major triumph came with the birth of Hulu, the first South China tiger cub ever to be born outside China. Hulu was quickly joined by siblings and cousins. Not all survived, but today there are healthy second-generation South China tigers roaming and stalking prey in the Laohu Valley Reserve. Cub by cub, the colony has grown towards the day when South China tigers can be returned to China itself, not to a zoo, but to restored and protected natural habitat. For both the tigers and their carers in South Africa, there's been everything to learn. Along the way, there have been inevitable heartbreaks, but far more regularly, undiluted joy. As little by little, poor by stealthy poor, the tigers have clawed their way back to survival. The long-term survival of the South China tiger is not yet assured, but thanks to Save China's tigers, the prospects are infinitely brighter than they were 10 years ago. Saving biodiversity and restoring natural habitat are the primary objectives of Save China's tigers. The charity also supports other wildcat conservation initiatives around the world.